As some of you know, I did a huge Tower of God iceberg stream a couple weeks ago. It was so much fun. We went for six hours just talking about Tower of God, like discussing various characters, discussing the lore, and discussing theories most of all. It was so much fun, but the main thing that stuck out to me from that stream was a theory that someone approached me with regarding Chang Blow Road. I know I'm bringing up Chang again, but this theory blew my mind. It absolutely blew my mind. I think SIU's lying to us. If you don't know, Chang's death in Season 3 was like a huge deal to some Tower of God fans. A lot of us thought it was super unnecessary, a waste of potential, and that Chang was being set up for something much greater. There are a lot of panels where Chang's like hidden abilities and powers are being hinted at. Yuri hints at it, he like clashes with Jin Sung one time before he gets one shot by him, and he also busts out of the cage on the Dollar Show arc when he was just sitting in there the whole time, and it was like he could have gotten out any time. There's a lot of things that hint at Chang's power. He's also one of the top five E rank regulars. We know that Kuhn like sliced his eye out, so at one point Kuhn and Chang like fought. But most importantly, he's also the one who shared the information that we know about Yama and the three mad dogs. Chang is the one who first told us about Yama and the mad dogs during the workshop battle. We also know that Chang captured Welsar Elliot and Angel in the White Heavenly Mirror after the dollar show. All of this led fans to believe that Chang could actually be the third mad dog of Yama, or at least was connected to the canines in some way. This was confirmed in season three when we find out that not only is Chang and Quattro there, they're there at the cage, but Chang is also half canine. He was apparently raised by canine people, and he's there at the cage to help stage a coup. This was so cool, man. It felt like all the hype was being paid off, like Chang actually had a purpose. He wasn't just some random side character, Yuri commenting on his hidden abilities. Like, it all just seemed to make sense. Until chapter 16 of season 3, when Chang is killed by the very people he was working for. Again, disappointing. You know, a lot of us thought that Chang would stick around and have some kind of major role going forward, or I liked Chang because he was a side character that was pretty cool. You know, we'd see him every now and then. He was a frequent ally along with Quattro of Team Sweet and Sour. It was pretty cool. But I want to give a shout out to Zahard32 on Twitter for tagging me with a theory that they had regarding Chang, Yama, Doom, all being connected, and most importantly, that Chang is alive. It all starts from this scene with Doom and Yama. Doom tells Yama, remember what those arrogant regulars working for Paul said before we came here. And it immediately follows with a panel of Chang and Quattro. Now, this by itself isn't a huge deal. Obviously, Doom is referring to Chang and Quattro. That's why their panel is on screen. But it's entirely possible that Doom was just referring to the regulars. It doesn't mean that Chang is alive. But... This actually cannot be true unless SIU made a mistake, which I don't think is possible here, because Chang's death is in chapter 16 of season 3. Doom's first appearance in Tower of God is chapter 17. That's the first time that Doom makes an appearance after Chang is already dead. This doesn't make sense. Doom never met Chang. Doom was sealed like thousands of years ago, at least, right? And Chang is a pretty young guy. They even call him like young during the scene where they're about to kill him. Like Chang couldn't have ever met Doom. It's possible that Doom is just referring to Quattro, but he specifically says arrogant regulars. The arrogant makes me think he knows them as well. Like, why would he call them arrogant unless he had actually spoken with them? Not to mention the plural of regular. We have regulars. It, it says it right there. Now, this goes way deeper because the context of why Doom is bringing up Chang and Quattro, it, it's right here. It says, that's right. We know the secret of the mad dog that inherited your blood. SIU is tying in the Mad Dogs back into the story. We know that Baragov was not controlled by Yisracha while the canines were slaughtering each other. He was unaffected. And we also know that Chang knows a lot about the Mad Dogs. Doom is apparently referencing these two arrogant regulars in reference to the Mad Dogs. We also know that Quattro was like involved in the plan at the nest. We see a panel where Quattro is with the group while they're planning things. We don't see Quattro at the nest, but he was involved in the planning. We had already known that Baragov wasn't affected. There's a whole scene where Baragov tells Yama about how he wasn't affected, and it says he immediately set out to discover its secrets. So 
we know Baragov is one of the people involved in trying to figure out what's going on. Shout out to Baragov. But the biggest panel that supports this, more than anything, it connects it all together, it's the centerpiece, is this panel where it says, right after the whole, it was talking about Baragov and talking about the research, it says, and another unexpected person took part in the research. The research of the mad dog inheriting Yama's blood and not being affected. This has to be connected to like Wang Wang and how he wasn't affected and somehow that got passed on to the mad dogs. There's something going on there, but one way or another, there's somebody unexpected who helped out in the research. Doom referenced the arrogant regulars who knew about the secret of the mad dog. It's all connecting. Not to mention this panel where it shows the unexpected person. It has like the white lines on the screen which imply that it's someone surprising, right? And Can Hong is even like sweating, which maybe is because Chang was working with the people who tried to stage a coup, right? And, and here's the thing, it looks like Chang. Like it could be anyone, I guess a couple others, but that for sure matches Chang. Like, like, the hair, it's like the coloring is slightly off, but it's its trying to hide who it is. And this could very easily be Chang. Some people thought, like, what if it's Louis? That does not look like Louis. There's no freaking way. And also, like, it wouldn't be that crazy unexpected for Louis to help. And also, it doesn't really fit his character. I don't know. Another interesting point that Zahard32 brings up is that the White Heavenly Mirror is currently in the possession of Chang. And apparently, the White Heavenly Mirror has a second and third ability that we still don't know about these second and third abilities could connect to how Chang is still alive. The thing that sort of brings all this down is SIU himself, because in the chapter that Chang died, SIU specifically says, on Chang, I wanted to show how regulars compared to rankers can be anticlimactic. They can anticlimactically meet their death, which in my opinion doesn't excuse it. I still think it's a horrible storytelling decision to just end the hype of this character. Like, you could use that excuse if it was a character that was just introduced or didn't have much going for them and you, you showed how rankers are so powerful and can just end regulars, that's different, right? But Chang has been around since before the workshop battle. He's been around since the beginning of season two. With all the hype around his character, it's just so unexpected. But here's the thing, SIU, I feel like has to comment this, right? Hear me out, I feel like he could almost be tricking us because imagine he doesn't say anything about Chang, right? Imagine he doesn't say anything. That's very suspicious if he doesn't comment on it. He has to say something to make us think he's dead, right? And also, I feel like if he really killed off a character that's been around for this long, the way he talked about him in the blog post is kind of not that important. Like, he's kind of just... I don't know, it, the, the way he's describing it is just kind of like, oh yeah, Chang died, move on. It's just, it's kind of sad. It's still possible, but another huge thing that makes me think, okay, what if there was something more going on with Chang's death, is the fact that Paul's entire purpose with his coup is to become what Yama and Doom were not. Yama was the lone wolf who only cared about himself, and then Doom used the canine people to just generate an army and didn't really care about them as individuals. Paul's entire purpose was, I care about them as individuals, I'm going to be a better leader, that's why he had so many loyal followers, you know, and like Paul had Venti and Grande and whatever, what's the other one? Val, the Venti, Grande, and... Tall? Freaking tall. It doesn't make sense that he would just kill the guy who led them all there. Like a very loyal canine person. It's just a little bit out of character for Paul's group. It wasn't Paul himself. It was the three, the Starbucks trio. But the fact that Tall says, let's free him, right? We can kill the spy, the kid or whatever. And then Venti does it, or Grande, it's freaking Grande, whatever her name is. Grande kills Chang. We don't ever see it. We just know Chang gets stabbed. He coughs up blood. We only see his eyes. And then Quattro says, Chang, Chang, and that's it. And then Grande says, dot, 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 he's dead. What if she only stabbed him through the shoulder? What if she lied to Tall? Like, we didn't see his body, right? We didn't see his dead body. Again, no body, no death, right? And it's not like Prince, where I can believe Joaquin definitely ate Prince, even if we didn't see it. It's like, I could almost see Grande lying to Tall. We know Tall's a jerk. What if Grande actually didn't kill Chang? I feel like that's also a possibility. Regardless, there's a lot of stuff going on here. It doesn't make any sense for Doom to know Chang. It all just, it, it gets muddled if you try to make it make sense with Chang being dead. So all in all, what do you guys think? Is Chang still alive? I honestly, 
I think he is. I honestly think he is. None of this would make sense if he was. I think the more believable option now is that he's still alive. Let me know what you think. Comment down below. Appreciate you watching the video. Huge shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. I love you guys so much and thank you for making what I do possible. With that being said, I'll see you all in my next Tower of God discussion video. Take care.